Welcome back. Just testing, it really is tense now. It's the final part of the VC Poker Cup. Just two men out there, Rolf and Tony. Which one's gonna walk away with the trophy? Let's get back to the table. He tends to like these kings. But he's been bitten off recently when he raised with one. Is that gonna make him more cautious? Or is he gonna carry, it looks like he's gonna carry on playing the way he's played every time He's found the king in the small blind every time he's made a raise. And he'll be, Tony, be tempted to take a flop here. He's only doubled the big blind. Very tempting for Tony to take a flop here. going through Tony's mind as he doesn't need to get in too deep without a hand but Rolf is making it cheap for him last time Rolf only doubled the big blind Tony came over the top with the a7 this time he hasn't got as much he's going to have a look try to take it away on the flop turn or river and Tony has hit top pair pair of nines for Tony Bloom a normal coup here would be to check for the bet on the flop. Tony knows Rolf unlikely to bet without a hand, though. But I think that's still going to be the way he's going to play it. Check. He has indeed checked. Well, it looks like a safe flop, but Rolf not inclined to bet without the hand. And if a king comes, it could be costly for Tony, but that really is pretty much a total blank. And on current form, Tony's likely to bet this time round. Yeah, he's given Rolf the chance to represent. He doesn't want any nasty accidents now. He's going to just take it away. Thanks 000. very much. Tony bet 65,000. It's easy to see the patterns which are coming into this heads up match. Really, the Risk. moment has passed. Yeah, he would have thought to make this play, but this is very, very interesting. He's found a completely new move. He thinks that Tony's trying to steal it because he checked on the flop. Rolf's re-raise. Tony might just give this up because really Rolf hasn't shown anything like this kind of play before. And Tony might decide that Rolf was slow playing a very, very big hand on the flop or that he has something like ace-deuce. It's a very difficult decision for Tony because if he gets involved here, he could be committed for all his chips. And although he's got top pair, it's very, very hard to put Rolf on an absolute steal. He's got it right again. He has got top pair. I'm not quite sure if Tony knows where he is in this part. Very hard for Rolf to fire another bullet, though. He wants a king. Oh. This might get checked out now. Rolf has actually got something. He's going to hope it's enough. Well, that's unfortunate for Rolf. He made a very sophisticated play and he didn't get rewarded for it because Tony on this occasion did have the hand. So Tony back ahead after being behind for only 13 hands and he now has two thirds of the chips. No one would begrudge Rolf a victory if he could pull one out of the bag because he's been a great sportsman. And he's pulled some great moves out. Tony's on the button. I don't know why he's even looking at his cards. Call. Well, Call. he's found a new coup, a new move. Just limp on the button, don't get in too deep. Rolf will be very happy to see a flop with his little suited connectors. Check. <coughs> <coughs> Rolf wants clubs. There's one. What he has found is a middle pin straight draw. Will Tony take this one away? Or will he let it go one time just to make sure Rolf isn't doing anything fishy? He now knows that Rolf's capable of making moves. Oh, and here's the flush draw. 
Rolf with a flush draw and a straight draw, but he's not going to bet it. Tony might be tempted with two checks to try and take it away. He knows he's not going to win it without a bet. But he's likely to get some action from Rolf. As it happens, the eight is still playing for Tony. How's Rolf going to play this? Probably just going to have a look and hope to improve. Close. Yeah. Close. But Rolf's going to need to improve. Club or a two. Tony in the box seat. Well, Rolf just giving it up meekly. Tony, it doesn't matter whether he bets it or not. Though he doesn't know it, his eight actually plays. Surprising, sure. though, that Tony, who doesn't know his eight is good, decides just to check it. And that's a little bit fortunate for Tony. But if Rolf had made it, played back on the turn when he'd hit that big uh, draw, of course he would have taken the putt. I'm just calling to hit. That's no way to play heads up. 